Well, I, obviously the market is very strong the first half. It's really carry over from last year, very active trading. So, you know, our, our, our business is largely driven by uh, ADT, which is basically trading volume. And also then starting the second quarter with the broader trade war and a lot of other uncertainties, volatility in the market is also kicks in. So our derivative, uh, you know, businesses are also taking a very, very big, uh, you know, a, a rise. And uh, third is really the listing reform. You know, we are now really creating a new chapter for WVR companies and for biotech companies. And those new arrivals, or even the anticipation of those new arrivals, has created a huge momentum in trading. So it's largely a trading-driven story, which means that uh, second half is going to be something a little bit more challenging than first half. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about that because yeah. uh, just in the last month or so we had China, greater China markets fall into bear territory. What is the outlook given the backdrop of that trade war and rising interest rates? I mean, the second half is definitely going to be, uh, you know, significantly, uh, uh, you know, less certain and more challenging than the first half. And I think uh, clearly volume is going to deteriorate and year to date, let's say 120 billion but July is already at 90 billion. So I think we're going to be in that territory for a while, but I think in the fall, you know, usually uh, volumes start to come back and a lot of IPO activities. So I think, uh, you know, we're going to see greater uh, downward trend on the cash trading side. We're going to see greater volatility. Hopefully that will continue to maintain some momentum on derivatives, but our listing is going to make hopefully make a big difference in terms of offsetting some of the dec declining market sentiment and volume. And we are also working on a number of derivatives and, uh, and are trying to really make uh, us be able to leverage on this uh, increased uh, volatility given the uncertainties. Now, we've seen a jump in IPO activity, as you've just been talking about to date, including the two big listings today, 24 billion U.S. dollars in IPOs funds raised in the Hong Kong market. That would put you in the number one spot in the league tables globally. So you say this is attributable to the new listing rules. How do you expect this to play out for the rest of the year? I, I wouldn't say it's really uh, necessarily the listing rule alone. For example, China Tower does not need the listing rules, but it's a very big mega deal. And uh, in terms of pure league table, uh, usually it's the big deal that makes the difference. And, uh, you know, we really don't look at those league tables that seriously because this just usually happens, you know, with a lot of a coincidence. But broadly speaking, you know, as long as we're top two, top three, we'll be all very happy. The key is trading. The new economy all the WVR, all the biotech, they bring such new life and new blood into our market that uh, they were just becoming a lot more active and a lot more interesting. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.